Acne scars and hyperpigmentation left over from struggling with acne are really annoying, so I understand why products claiming to erase them, like the Banish Dark Spot Corrector Serum, are so popular. But is it really effective? After all, it isn't exactly cheap. Before we dive into the review, let me remind you that despite being used interchangeably, acne scars and hyperpigmentation are actually two different things. Hyperpigmentation is one form of leftover mark after acne lesions, but there are many more like pitted scars, keloid scars, erythema, and most of them will not respond to the same things that help with hyperpigmentation. So for the sake of this review, let's focus on actual dark spots and only briefly touch on other forms of acne scars. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. On the website, the claims are quite strong erase dark marks and get that morning after glow. I won't discuss which morning after is referred to here, but I admit erase dark marks set my expectations pretty high. The serum is supposed to be clear, but already had a slight yellow hue when it arrived at my place. This yellowing is a sign of vitamin C oxidizing and got worse over the next few months until by now the serum is pretty intensely yellow. That is to be expected though, as I had it for several months and only now got around to writing my review, you really shouldn't open a vitamin C serum and expect it to last more than three months. I did not notice any scent. Depending on your preferences and the rest of your routine, you could use the product morning, night or even twice a day. I usually use my vitamin C in the mornings, but here the texture wasn't to my liking for underneath my sunscreen. It feels Lightweight initially, but has some oiliness once applied to the skin that felt too much for me, especially in the warmer months. The brand itself recommends using it at night. If you are unsure what to pair it with, I think it is possible to pair it with almost everything else other than benzoyl peroxide in the same routine, but of course that depends on your skin's individual tolerance. The safest way would always to be not to mix potentially irritating ingredients in the same routine, and l acid has some irritation potential especially if it's formulated with a low pH like this one. According to the brand, it's around pH 3 to 4. What initially surprised me when looking at the ingredient list was that it lists 100% L-ascorbic acid. That is odd on an inky list, as here the percentages should refer to the concentration, and it surely isn't a 100% concentration of vitamin C. So I reached out to the brand, and they kindly responded to confirm what the actual concentration used is. 4% and that the 100% refers to the fact that they only use L-ascorbic acid and not a derivative. This makes much more sense. Ascorbic acid is used in concentrations of up to 15%. Anything above that, say 20 and higher, will not give you better results. The higher the concentration, the more irritation potential there is, although that and the effectiveness of the product is also influenced by the pH. If the pH is too high, even a high concentration will probably not work. There's also glycerin as humectant, as well as a few additional plant extracts claiming soothing and antioxidant benefits, and ferulic acid and vitamin E, commonly used to stabilize the very reactive L-ascorbic acid. I admit I wasn't the biggest fan of the Banish Dark Spot Corrector Serum due to the slight oiliness it left on my skin and the quite high price point for what I perceive to be a rather average vitamin C serum. I also don't think it will be very effective at targeting hyperpigmentation, given that it has a low concentration of vitamin C although there might be some improvement with continuous and regular use. The advantages are that the low concentration of scorbic acid lowers the risk for irritation despite the low pH, so if you don't tolerate other vitamin C serums and your skin is more on the dry side, it might be a good or quite pricey option for you. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen, and add links to my Instagram and blog in the description box. And if you want exclusive Q&As, behind-the-scenes content, or just get more involved, become a channel member. I would love to have you join the community. See you soon. Bye!